Oh god. Already it makes a lolcat reference. This is not going to be pretty. Hello everyone. This is Honey Badger Slayer of Memes. Can you guess what sort of game it is based on this title screen? No, neither could I. I thought some sort of twee, cute platformer. But no, it's something entirely different and more grotesque. This was released, I don't know, a few weeks ago on Xbox Live Indie Games. And initially, I was actually cautiously optimistic. Because way back in the day, on my NES, I played Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. Now, I have written a, a proper full text review of this game, in which I kept comparing it to Super Punch-Out on the Super Nintendo, but that was really just for ease of typing. I didn't play Super Punch-Out nearly as much as I played the original Punch-Out. That's what this reminds me of, but not in a good way. That was a good, slightly cartoony boxing game. This. Look at this. Look. What does that look like to you? Does that look pretty? Does that look appealing? Is this something you want to actually look at while you're trying to have fun? No. Alright. So, if you've ever played one of the Punch-Out games, this will look familiar. You have low punches, you have high punches on both sides, like this. Yeah. Yay. And you have this super punch after a while. Fantastic. Business as usual. You can dodge aside, you can block very counterintuitively by pressing up on the stick, even though you're kind of pulling back. And I'm pretty sure you pulled back in punch out to do that. But yeah, this is, so far, just a kind of crappy, cheap imitation of punch out. Which would be okay. I could possibly forgive the really hideous visual design. And make no mistake, this does look absolutely horrible. Um, but it could be excusable if the game was fun. But what I'm doing here is basically just mashing the punch buttons. So, you know, that's not fun. I can sit here and alternately hammer X and Y without the need for any game at all. But that's not the bad part. That's the beginning of the slippery slope, but it's not the end. The problem, the biggest problem with Honey Badger Slayer of Memes is that it's really, really, really badly designed. And its bad design is only highlighted by how closely it tries to mimic Super Punch-Out, or Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. The whole style of it, I mean, not the visual style, thanks to the fact that it looks like it was drawn by a 12-year-old who was having a fit, but the general sort of layout and everything of it, and the way it plays, the way it controls, is very Punch-Out-esque. Clearly intentionally. But, all this does is highlight how much not like Punch-Out the game manages to be. And the problem with it, the biggest problem, is it's just horribly designed. The first two fights here are pretty easy. You can just mash the button as much as I am at the moment. But the third fight... Well, let's say I have never managed to get past the third fight. It... I'll show you in a second. I'll skip ahead to the third fight. Okay, so we're now entering the third round. Against Kid Ward Stars... Uh, don't even get me started on that. The whole Slayer of Memes subtitle to this seems to revolve around the idea that your opponents are not just sort of comical characters like they are in Punch-Out. They are, in fact, apparently memes. Like, I don't know, minor internet celebrities or other memes of some sort. I don't know. I've never seen one that I've actually heard of in this game. And, you know, that's not because I'm some old fogey who's out of touch. Although, a little bit. Um, but I, I have a fairly active online presence. So I'm familiar with a lot of memes, and none of these mean anything to me. So that is immediately lost on me. 
So any any sort of value or humour that would come from that completely goes over my head. So the game has to stand on its own merits, on just quality, on being a good game, and it is not. And here's where it really starts to come apart. Watch this shit. So you fight this guy, and in normal sort of fashion, you pound at him. But, unlike all the previous enemies, he doesn't kind of flinch or anything when you hit him. He actually just continues to attack you through your own attacks. And every few seconds, he does this stupid, long, bastard spinning attack. Which is quite annoying to try and avoid. Oh, piss off. You can do it with enough practice, but it, it's also very, very fiddly. And even having fought this guy uh, at least half a dozen times, I can't reliably avoid that attack. And then, after a while, he does this stupid thing where he starts mumbling at you, and then he sends out some kind of shadowy punch, which is also really difficult to avoid. And basically, the guy is just a dick. And this is the problem with the game. The, it, the first two enemies are really, really easy, and then the third enemy is completely impossible. I mean, the, the design is just horrendous! And it didn't take me long of persisting through this to realise that I was making a mistake. I kept thinking, okay, uh, you know, I'm, I'm failing at beating this guy, but I don't want to be able to complete a game on the first attempt. You know, I want to challenge having to practice it again to succeed at it is fine, that's part of the course. But after a while I realised this is not fun. This this is shit. I'm not enjoying it whatsoever. And add to that the fact that each round is <laughs> as though on cue, each round is on a time limit, and this guy spends so long twirling around that even if you perform really, really well against him, as I sometimes have, you run out of time anyway just because he stalls so bloody much. I've never managed to get past this round, and I usually like to finish a game, or at least get pretty close to finishing it before I do any sort of review of it, but this, this cannot and will not be done. Honey Badger had a decent idea in going for a punch-out style of boxing game on the indie channel. That's something that we haven't seen on there so far, but it fails through trying too hard to be exactly like Super Punch-Out and missing. And secondly, having some kind of built-in gag that is completely wasted on 95% of people. And thirdly, and most importantly, just playing horribly. Do not buy Honey Badger Slayer of Memes. Don't be lulled into a false sense of security by its attempt at looking like a much better game. It's atrocious. Avoid it like the plague. On that note, I'm going to exit, because I don't want to look at this piece of crap any longer than I absolutely have to. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.